to Sunday night at eight. It's good to see you. My name's Hannah and I'm the vicar in Ghoul. And my name's Johnny. I'm married to the vicar in Ghoul. <laughs> you, indeed uh, you are. And I am well, worshipping operations or something like that. You work at church. I work in the church. Yeah, that's the easiest way to say that. <laughs> Um, yeah, and this is Sunday night eight. We do this every week. Um, uh, we've been doing it since the beginning of lockdown, more or less. It's been a while. We're in episode ten. Episode ten. Episode ten. So it's quite a long time. It's quite a long time. Yeah. yeah. Welcome to church. This is church. We're just kind of doing it online. We're doing it in a different way, and we're doing it in a really informal way. And this is church for people who don't normally go to church. Yeah. So hi. So hi. Um, we really want to connect with you guys, so if you are watching, if you're joining us, then do say hi in the comments um, and uh, you can feel free to like and to share, let other people know that we're here. Um, it's been nice actually because lately I think we've, we've connected with a few new people um, and people who perhaps um, have a faith and or might be exploring it a, a little bit and um, yeah, it's been nice to connect with a few different yeah. people hasn't it yeah it's been great yeah really enjoyed it so do feel free to uh, leave comments and say hi and then we can greet you as the comments come up um what are you drinking what are you drinking tonight what's your hot drink of choice um mine's hot water i like the way you went for a hot drink yeah i did yeah, when yeah. i said yeah. what are you drinking, are you drinking? i was like i better just set the scene yeah. you know i don't i mean i don't mind a glass of no, wine that's fine, yeah. Um, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't probably beer. have a glass of wine. Blonde, blonde beer. A blonde beer, yeah. yeah. Uh, I wouldn't have a glass of wine, if, you know, while we're doing church. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, but anyway. <laughs> That's your heart drink. Good. Yeah. Um, good, great. Do you want to you hit us with our question? Yeah, so every single week we have a question uh, that we ask you. We just kind of ask that you write it in the comments. We read it out. Um, some, sometimes we have something that's really funny. Uh, we have some really funny stories. We have a good laugh. This time, yeah, it's more ser more serious. It's not like it's not really it's not serious. Like serious, it's not, but no, no. just kind of just a, a nice yeah, tone. Yeah, nice yeah. tone to the question. So the question is: uh, Do you have an example of someone helping you in an unexpected way? So do you have an example of someone helping you in an unexpected way? Do you have an example of someone helping you? Well, do you know what? I have always found it quite difficult to ask for help. And so one year I actually set asking for help as my um, New Year's resolution. How did that go? Oh, uh, it was all right, actually. And, and I did I did start asking for help. It's really nice. I was like, oh, people are helping me. It's brilliant. I don't have to do it all myself. So, yeah. That was good. Yeah, it was really good. So, yeah, you can share yours. Um, Oops. Oh, Jackie last week missed out because she didn't watch it live. Jackie, um, for those of you who are new, watches every week and she's always got a really good story. Mm -hmm. um, and last week she shared a story um, after we were live. So we didn't actually get to share it, but it was a good story. So if you want to check Jackie's good story, as well as some other really good stories, then do have a little look at last week's feed. Um, but we're going to share some stories a little bit later. First of all, Johnny's going to sing... For us, so I'm gonna swivel you round. Great. Oops, you swivel too far. Oh, that, that'd been that would, awkward, that would have been awkward. Let's do this. Then 
Yourself. We have to do the whoop. We have to do the whoop. Um, well, should we say hi to some people? <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Um, we're leaning forward to scroll through some comments and say hello to everyone. Um, so let's say hi to Rachel. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Claire. Hi to Amanda, our namesake. Good evening to Frankie. Hi to Emma. Good to see you. Hi to my dad, Hall. <laughs> Uh, hi Emily. Oh, we get a love heart from Emily. Oh, come on, what can we yeah, say? Yeah, we we've get... been enjoying the strawberries actually. Oh yeah. Yeah. Strawberries. Strawberries. Spuds and berries. Uh, hi. <laughs> yeah. Advertising. Do we yeah. get money for that? Yeah, um, we do. Hi to Sue. Hello. And hi to Jackie. Um, and Jackie has just reminded us that it's Father's Day today. Um, so happy Father's Day if you are a father. We're just quite... Hopefully hasn't reminded us. Yeah, happy Father's <laughs> Day, my father-in-law. I think, I think my yeah. dad's probably watching yeah. as well. Um, father's Day is one of those weird old days, isn't it, really? Because it is a day which, for some of us, is just lovely. Um, and for some of us, is really tough. Um, and for a lot of people, it can be a combination of those or somewhere in between. So um, we're, we're here today, on this day, 
um, and celebrating with you if it's a good day for you but if it's a tough day for you we are also sending you lots of love um, and uh, cheering you on um, and it will soon be over. <laughs> Tomorrow is no longer Father's Day so that might be a relief for some of you. Um, we're sharing stories, we haven't had any yet, we haven't had any stories. Um, it's alright, there's still time. There's still time, there's still but if you're time. just joining us, we're sharing stories tonight, we thought we'd go for a nice one, um, of uh, has anyone ever helped you in an unexpected way? Has anyone ever helped you in an unexpected way? So go for it, pop your stories in the comments and we will share them um, with each other as they pop up. Mm. Good. Um, we wanted to let you know that every week the church, uh, as the church, we send out a newsletter um, via email. So if you would like to uh, receive an email once a week from the church, it's got a kind of basic service um, format, but also loads of updates and stuff, things that are going on. So if you want to receive that, then just pop um, us a message or you can email our office at office at stjohnsgool.org.uk and we'll add you to the list. And if, if ever you want to be taken off the list, we won't be offended. Mm -hmm. um, there's a few people who've said, oh, it's a bit much having an email once a week. So again, just let us know and we will take you off the list if you don't want to be on it anymore. There's also an unsubscribe button There's that you can click button. if you kind of don't want it. I, I've Just been click through those. I've been through quite a lot of those. Yeah, yeah. yeah. COVID, COVID nineteen. Yeah, that's not good. Lipple, that's not good. Lipples, that's not good lipples, and GDPR. Anyway, uh, other things uh, that we want to tell you about uh, is YouTube. Um, so we record a talk every week, so we don't just do this. We also kind of record like a little top ten minute um, talk. Um, every week that goes onto YouTube. Um, if you go to YouTube itself and you search St John's School, you will see different things from talks to little thoughts, uh, a little thing from me on mental health, um, also some playlists. So if you kind of you're interested in kind of like, well, what sort of songs you play? If you put St John's School playlist, you get a whole list of all the songs there on YouTube. Um, so yeah, go to there, use that. It's available to you to use. And the back catalogue of Sunday Night at 8 as yeah. well, oh. which you may or may not be All interested in. All nine episodes. <laughs> you binge watch them. <laughs> if you, you might need, you might need the, the, the drink for that. Yeah, if Netflix, if you've watched everything on Netflix, then go to our YouTube channel. <laughs> binge watch uh, Sunday Night at 8. Yeah, brilliant. I love it. Great. Um, Right, well, we are reading through John's Gospel at the moment, which is one of the four eyewitness accounts of Jesus and his life. Um, if you don't have a copy of it, we can send you one. Uh, so just let us know. If you need a Bible, we've got some. We can send you those. Um, and uh, we're looking at today at um, John chapter 14. So if you find in your Bible, if you find John and then go to the big 14, and then we're going to start... At verse 15 so that's the little you find the little 15 it's only really short today um, I, can't, I can't promise the talks gonna be short but the Bible reading is short um, so the context of this is that Jesus is sitting with his friends um, and um, he knows that he's about to die and he's about to be separated from them and um, they don't get that at all but he, he this is almost kind of like a download from Jesus of all the things that are on his heart um, he's really wanting to let them know what he's thinking and, and um, giving, him, giving them loads of advice and stuff. Um, so he, one of the things that he says to them is, um, if you love me, keep my commands and I will ask the Father and he will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever, the spirit of truth. The world cannot accept him because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him, for he lives with you and will be in you. So Jesus starts this um, little kind of conversation with his friends and he says to them, if you love me, keep my commands. Um, and I thought, right, OK, well, what are Jesus's commands? What are the things that he commands his disciples to do? Let's start with those. Um, so I looked through this little speech that Jesus is giving to his disciples and there are a few commands. Um, I don't know what you think of when you think of the commands of God and the commands of Jesus. 
it's a little bit scary, isn't it? We kind of think about the Ten Commandments. Um, but there's a few things that Jesus tells his disciples to do. And so I thought, well, they're probably the commands that he's talking about. Um, and he says, if you love me, obey my commands. And the things that he's saying are, do not be troubled. Well, that was quite a surprising one, actually, to start with. Don't be troubled. And then he says, believe, believe in me. And then there's one about ask me. And so that one is probably to do with prayer. And then the next command that I could find says, abide in me. Um, or some different translations of the Bible say, remain in me. And I think that's probably about um, finding our place of belonging um, and our identity. And then the biggie, um, which we probably recognise as being from Jesus, is love one another as I have loved you. So there are five commands there that I've just picked out. Don't be troubled. Believe. Ask me for things. Abide in me or remain in me. And love one another as I have loved you. And I was thinking to myself, what would life look like if we could obey those commands? What would life look like for us if we weren't troubled? Well, that would be pretty awesome, wouldn't it? Because for all of us, at some times, we are feeling really troubled. Um, and I don't think it's any exaggeration to say that anxiety and fear um, about the future, and even about the present, are really big deals for us. So wouldn't it be amazing if we weren't troubled? Um, believe in me, Jesus said. Wouldn't it be amazing if I just had that faith all the time and was able to believe in Jesus all the time? Ask me. Well, wouldn't it be amazing if my prayers were, were kind of effective and I knew what to pray about and I knew how to pray and my prayer life was really healthy? And the next one is abide in me or remain in me, or stay in me? Um, or wouldn't it be <laughs> amazing if I all the time was really confident about where I belong, about who I am um, as a child of God, and about my identity as belonging to God? Wouldn't that just be incredible in my life if I felt really confident about my identity and where I belong? Um, and finally, love one another as I have loved you. Wouldn't it be amazing if we loved one another in the same way that Jesus loved us? Um, I, I mean, gosh, I really struggle even to love my immediate family very well sometimes. Sorry, because you're very that, easy to shock. love. That's a shock. Um, but it's hard, isn't it? You know, when you're day in, day out with people, especially at the moment when there's, there isn't a, a huge amount of break from each other. Um, to love each other in the same way that Jesus loved us. Gosh, that would be incredible. And Jesus says, if you love me, obey these things, do them. I'm like, okay, well, Jesus, I do love you, but how on earth am I supposed to do all of those things? Um, I just feel like a complete failure trying to do all of those things and achieve them. And And I kind of often think, wouldn't it be amazing to have like a little... A little Jesus on my shoulder telling me what to do. Um, some people when I was younger uh, used to wear those what would Jesus do bracelets, um, you know the Bible dashes. Um, <laughs> I think I have one. Did you, did you have one? <laughs> oh you were a very lovely Bible basher. Uh, what would Jesus do bracelets? I think it's more more from myself. Yeah um, but you know anyway, sometimes it's really that. hard. <laughs> Sorry. Sometimes it's really hard to know what would Jesus do and we wish we had a little Jesus um, on our shoulder. But what Jesus is saying in this reading is um, that is, if you love me, obey my commandments and I'm not going to leave you on your own, but I'm going to send you another advocate. Another advocate. OK, well, who is this? Um, another one suggests that Jesus is sending someone else like him. Um, if I were to say to Johnny, <laughs> I'm leaving, but I'm going to send you another Hannah, um, then that would be weird. Yeah, it would be really weird. <laughs> um, but it's another one suggests that it's someone like Jesus. It's not going to be uh, someone different, another <coughs> advocate. Um, and the word advocate is a really helpful word because it's got lots of meanings. 
Um, another advocate means somebody who will assist and help, who will plead our cause um, and who will almost take a role of like a helper or a servant. Um, so Jesus is saying, I want you to obey all my commandments, but I'm going to send you somebody who's going to help you to do that. I'm going to send you somebody who's going to assist you to do what I've asked you to do. So an analogy that I thought of would be that if I were to say to Johnny, look, Johnny... I'm already concerned about where this is going. <laughs> Johnny, if you really love me, you would sort the garden out for me. No. Um, but I am going to send... I'm not going to leave you to do it on your own. I'm going to send you Alan Titchmarsh oh. to do it with you. And Johnny okay. and Alan work together um, on the garden. And uh, so I haven't left Johnny on his own. I've left him someone to help him um, sort out the garden together. I'll take that. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. Sounds good. John, uh, Alan Titchmarsh is going to be your helper. I'll, I'll hang out with him for a day. <laughs> um, but it's even more than that. It's not just that we are being sent an Alan Titchmarsh to help us by Jesus. Um, the Holy Spirit, who is this advocate, is not only with us, but he is in our hearts. Um, and so the Spirit of God is given to us in our hearts to help us from within. Um, and the way that he helps us is to gradually, day by day, change us and make us more and more like Jesus. And so day by day, as we walk with God and as we walk with the Holy Spirit in us, we will find that we will have help with things like feeling troubled. Um, with struggling to believe, with prayer, with feeling, um, worrying about our sense of identity um, and with loving one another. The Holy Spirit will help us will, with all of those things. So it's even more than having Alan Titchmarsh working with us in, in the garden. It's suddenly realising that we have the skills of Alan Titchmarsh and we know immediately how to do um, gardening very, very well. Um, it's, it's an analogy that falls down. <laughs> but I it's hope... I like it though. Yeah, I mean... Not, I, 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 that, that's not going to leave me now. No, I hope it Excuse helps me. us to get, to get to grips with what is the role of the Holy Spirit. Well, the Holy Spirit is not there to give us a hard time. The Holy Spirit is to help us do everything that Jesus has asked us to do. Um, and the most important one of those is to love each other. So if you're struggling with any of those areas, then the best prayer that you can pray is, come Holy Spirit, change my heart and make me more like Jesus. So we're just going to pray that now um, for each other, really, um, because I don't know about you, but sometimes I really struggle uh, in all of those areas, actually. Um, and so even... Even, um, you know, even the vicar struggles with these things. We all do because we're all human and we all need uh, a helper. So wherever you are, whatever you're doing now, I just want to encourage you to um, just be attentive, really, and aware of God. Um, some people find it really helpful to kind of just breathe deeply and, and focus on God as you're breathing. And Johnny and I are just going to pray for you as you sit wherever you may be at the moment. Come Holy Spirit. Come Holy Spirit. Spirit of Jesus, we need you to help us. We need you to help us when we feel troubled. We need you to help us believe. We need you to help us pray. We need you to help us know our identity and our belonging as children, as children of God. And most of all, we need you to help us to love one another. Please change our hearts and make us more like Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And for some of us, maybe we've been um, Christians for a long time, but actually 
we've never actually prayed to uh, receive the Holy Spirit. We've never quite invited the Holy Spirit to come in and fill our lives. And so if that's you right now, um, why don't you just kind of take a moment and actually just simply pray, come Holy Spirit and, and fill me. I receive you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And Holy Spirit, we know that um, you are good. Uh, and we just ask you to fill all of us. Give us your refreshing touch. And we just pray as well that we will know you that we will experience you. Come and meet with us. And come and change us. Thank you, Lord. One of the things that can happen as you pray is that sometimes you can feel a bit emotional. Um, that is often the Holy Spirit at work. Um, just as children cry, sometimes they cry just because they're being comforted. Um, they hold it together. It's almost like, you know, you see you see your parents at the end of the day on a first day of school and you burst into tears because of the relief. Um, sometimes the Holy Spirit can just bring us a huge amount of relief, knowing that we're loved and we're and we're held and we're comforted. So, um, and sometimes the, the crying can be because it's, it's painful um, to, to kind of journey through certain things with God. Um, but if you feel that, I just want to, just want to say that just in case you do feel uh, ever like crying um, when you're praying, that that's okay. Um, it's, I certainly do. <laughs> um, and that's fine. It's not, it's not a problem to, to react like that. Um, yeah, should we have another song? Yeah. Is there anything else you wanted to say before we? Uh, no, just as, um, if you kind of uh, experience anything within that, do let us know. Get in touch, and just, or you want to ask more questions about the Holy Spirit, um, get in touch with us. We'd love to kind of talk about that. Um, yeah, and we'd love to find out from you um, what that's like. Yeah, how you're doing, how you're getting on. Yeah, do keep us in touch with how you're getting on. Great, I'm gonna. Should we see about a question? Like, ask that question again. We haven't yeah, had. We any. haven't had any. Had anything, we haven't had so. any responses. The question is, you might have missed it. Um, and by the way, if you are watching again after this has gone out, you are so welcome to um, put your stories in the comments anyway. Um, have you got any examples of someone helping you in an unexpected way? Um, maybe not. I was actually trying to wrap my brain, um, which I will carry on doing. Right, great. Johnny's going to sing. Great.
fall afresh on me. Bring your peace and your mercy. Set us free. Fan the fire and let it blaze from me. the Bible um, is often referred to as as fire. Um, it goes right back to the Old Testament where um, Moses uh, encountered God at the burning bush and um, the fire didn't burn up and, and then the presence of God was like fire with the um, kind of early, uh, God's early people in the Bible, which is why um, Johnny's song's all about fire. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah, probably that would be kind of a weird one, wouldn't it? By singing about fire. Yeah, so singing fire about fall. fire fall ah, is basically saying sounds horrible. We want to know the yeah. presence. <laughs> yeah. We want to know the Such presence a good thing. of God. <laughs> it's a good, it's want, a good thing, rather. It's the Holy Spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Um, should we share a couple of stories? Fire purifies. You know, that yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, let's just um, Amanda, you're like me. You, Amanda says, I'm rubbish at asking for help. I'd much rather carry on as I don't want to burden others. Luckily, I have amazing friends who jump in and offer support when lo and love when needed. Yeah, Amanda, I'm the same. And then sometimes it just blows you away, doesn't it, when people do help. Um, it's really good. Do you want to read Jackie's? Yeah, it, I, I don't even know it. I haven't even read it yet. But it, okay. So it's good. Okay. It? okay. Whilst camping in Wales, it rained for five days. Oh, oh, we got another one in. Oh, Sorry, it moved out of the plate, out of the way. Uh, it rained for five days and five nights. On the fifth night, we were totally washed out as the water entered the tent. We know that experience, mm, don't we? We do. Yeah, Two young children that. and a dog who didn't relish packing up, but knew it was so unsafe to say. Kind couple saw our plight, and rather than pack our, their own tent, they donated their swimming costume and trunks. No, they don't. They didn't do <laughs> they don't. I thought they said donated. <laughs> I was thinking, how's that helping? <laughs> Like, I was just thinking, it's like, you're, you're tender leaking, you have some swimwear. That's genuinely what I thought it was. I was thinking, gosh, things seem like that. That's, that's not much help. I've got real giggles now. <laughs> they donned their swimming costumes and trunks to help us. We left oh, just as gosh. the sunrise came up and we were never as pleased to get home. I still remember their act of kindness and compassion they showed us in crisis. Oh, that is so kind, isn't it? That's so kind. Oh, we've got a few more stories. Oh, should I read Sue's while yeah. you recover from <laughs> Yes, sorry. Donated. <laughs> uh, uh, Sue. Donned. 
on. Sue boarded a train going one way to Beverly from Ghoul with two six-year-olds. Around comes the guard and tells me it'll cost close to 25 quid. Luckily, a lovely lady was sitting close by and offered me her family rail card. The guard probably shouldn't have allowed me to use it, but it reduced the cost of the journey to around Aww. 12 pounds. Oh, that's a really kind one, isn't it? Nice one, isn't it? Want to read? Do you want to read Emma's? Yeah. Uh, my daughter was once... <laughs> I'm really worried now about me. I'm <laughs> <joking>. <laughs> I think... <coughs> my oh. daughter was once poorly on a holiday to Mexico. And the hotel we um, we were staying at were great. They sent an employee to pick up my daughter's prescription, which we were mm. not expecting, but it really helped as we didn't speak any Mexican. So we would have really struggled to do it ourselves. So we we're very grateful for their help. Oh, that oh, is really amazing. kind, isn't it? I love it when people go out of their way with kindness. It's so nice. Do you know what? That camping thing reminds me of when we were camping last summer. Uh, we went camping and our tent, like Jackie's... Two was, months of uh, rain fell in one day. Yeah, we had so much rain and we had two young children in the tent. And, and actually, it was people who were just so kind. I mean, mm. my sister, for a start, was amazingly mm. kind. And then um, we went and bought a new tent at 8 o'clock at collapsing. night. We were putting this tent up. And collapsing. loads of people who were camping nearby there. were getting all the stuff out of our old tent and putting it into our new tent. They had like a conveyor belt of people um, put, transferring all the stuff. And then another couple of people made us hot drinks mm -hmm. oh it was really nice yeah it was really kind thanks for the reminder of that Jackie um and uh, we didn't put swimming costumes on though no we didn't or donate them <laughs> we didn't donate any swimming costumes to anyone. Uh, maybe we should maybe we should maybe we should um well guys <laughs> after that slightly random note um it's time to go already yeah um we've we've got to say goodbye uh, but please do connect with us. Let us know how you're getting on because for us, this is church and we love it. Um, and you guys are becoming um, friends and we love that. We love hearing from you, but we'd love to hear how you're doing. Um, the highs and lows of your faith journey, um, whether you're on a faith journey or if you've got questions, we'd love to know how you're doing because then we can respond um, and think about things that might help along the way. Um, but yeah, do get in touch with us and, uh, yeah, you can drop us a direct message or, um, yeah, just send us an email, um, office at stjohnschool.org.uk. Good. Great. Great. Let's say goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, Have everyone. Week. Have a great week. <laughs>